he didn't have quite the distance. Interesting restart, and Fraser Waters tried to get in there and nearly did. Little chip over the top, and it's Van Sonclair. And still, there's an idiot on the pitch, by the way. That's the reason for the jeering from the crowd. That is stupid at this stage of the match, it really is. You know, I'm just thinking, we were chatting with Thomas Castagnier before about selections, and I have to say, Emile Entomac might be a legend in Toulouse. He's one of the greats in recent times. But Vincent Clair has made a difference since he's come on. He's electric pace. You wonder, did Toulouse get it wrong at the wing and at 10? They still have time just to get it right. Howley. On the full. It's telling now, even the most experienced Lions are feeling the heat. He's had the heart of a Lion this season for London Wasp, Robert Howley. And at times, the skill of a cheetah. Who has the skill? Who has the nerve to close this final out? So much has happened in this match. But the most important thing still to come as Yannick Brew drives. Alessard, Michelak, can they conjure something? Get a penalty. It's another long range effort if they take it on, but it is straight. Oh. Now, Ellis Ald has shown that he can get these kicks and he has the nerve. Simon Shaw made a great wraparound tackle on Frederick Michelak, who has been superb. But then the Wasp dived on the ball. It's bang in front, it's about 42 metres, it is within range. It is all about the mindset of Jean-Baptiste Ellis Ald. And from a Toulouse point of view, he hasn't looked like missing yet. He looked so comfortable with the last one, but this one now. My goodness. My goodness indeed. Jean-Baptiste Ellis, I'll take a bow. That should not have looked as easy as that. It's all square. Issa Tullamarka, Simon Shaw. Brew, three minutes left. Elisard, Michelak. The space there, again, not for long. Van Gisbergen. Quattrino, screeching to a halt to avoid touch. King. Ball won't go dead. Michelak wants it too. With a 22 dropout. Big dropout now as well, isn't it? With just some two and a half minutes left on the clock. Toulouse have been trying all sorts of cheeky, clever dropouts, but now will they go conservative and say, Let's get this down to the other end, because Wasp could get a drop goal from this territory. 80 minutes means 80 minutes on the clock, remember, and Howley is going down the line. Oh, oh. my goodness! Howley! What has happened there? Toulouse went to sleep, Poitrino can't believe it, Robert Howley may have snatched the European Cup. What has Poitrino done? He's waited for the ball to go, Howley will not give the cause up. It's infield. It's a try, it is a try. Robert Howley... Downward pressure. Now Poitrino, his hand touches it first, but it doesn't touch the ball at the ground. Alan Lewis is making this decision. Howley certainly snatches the ball away. Does Poitrino get it down? He does, you know. 
This has to be as slow as possible. Poitrano is trying to get the 22 dropout. Howley has got that ball. Trevor Leota in Lansdowne Road, Robert Howley in Twickenham. The moment. It is, quite frankly, one of the most incredible moments that this competition has ever seen. Clement Poitrano will feel the exact opposite to how Robert Howley feels now. The cruelty for Poitrano is hard to take on board. The joy for Howley and Wasps in equal measure. Van Gisbergen has this kick, but Howley has the try. The try that is set to make the difference. Van Gisbergen converts. Yes, he does! Oh. Oh. Do to lose have it. 27-20. Need to get rid of this ball. Was to. 30 seconds left. Well, that try just sums up Was. They've been on the back foot, they've been struggling. They've got the try from Howley, but the defence has won it. I have never seen Joe Worsley play this well for Was In defence, magnificent. He's my man of the match in the Heineken Cup final. Here come Toulouse. They've kicked it to Lucy. The clock not, not quite there at 80. Lucy comes away with the ball. He just straightened the attack. Howley back. Van Gisbergen told to put the ball out. And the bounce of the ball. And the title too. They have conquered Europe. They can now say they are the best team in the Northern Hemisphere. London was the Heineken Cup champions. But it also has to be said that for long periods of that match, Toulouse played like the best team in the Northern Hemisphere club side. But they didn't take the chances when offered and they gifted a chance when extra time seemed a certainty to Robert Howley and his WASP team. This final over the years has been littered with drama and springing to mind the hand of Neil back for one. But have we ever seen anything like that? Poitrano had the time to just put that ball down and he will know it, Palouse knows it. Howley, who never gives up. Well, just think of Rob Howley and how fitting it is him, you know. The heartbreak he's had when he's been in the Lions tours and he's got injured. He's had a Welsh career, a great player, when it hasn't been the most wonderful Welsh team. And this moment, Rob Howley will cherish forever. A great player. He's just kept going and going and going. Like was, they weren't in control of this game, but they didn't give it up. Toulouse showed most of the flair, but Toulouse showed the vulnerability when it mattered. It was grit and determination, and Robert Howley, like the rest of was, just said, I am not going to go into the night. I'm not even going to extra time. I am going to grab that cup. Poitrano waiting for the ball to come and it was a fatal wait 